All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about a few math instructions inside of Studio 5000 or RS Logics 5000. Keep in mind, uh, the difference between the two are going to be basically your versions and a few instructions that they have added along the way to make their software better. But uh, when it comes down to it, the math functions that we're going to be discussing in this video are constant throughout the legacy versions and throughout the current version. So well, with that said, we're going to first start out with, uh, we're going to talk about the divide and then we're going to go to the mod. Now in this video, we're going to talk about that. And, and one thing to really kind of highlight and, and note, uh, now currently I'm using uh, in my current divide that I have right here, I have uh, three reels, right? So the, the value or the, the actual data type that I'm using is a reel, meaning I want to get, I do want to use my decimal point so uh, one thing I want to bring up too is the reason, and, and let me pull this up too so you can actually see it, is I'm going to pull up my minor faults. And I have the program checked, right? So I have this little checkbox that says the program monitor any faults inside of the program if one were to occur. So um, with that said, if we divide by zero, that's going to actually cause a minor fault. So and I'll show you this. So we're going to toggle that and we're going to divide by zero. We're going to come up here and that's not a hard uh, it's not a major fault right so we don't have a major fault so it's not going to fault the processor but this does give a minor fault inside the processor which is obviously going to create a problem with your logic and the way it works so just keep in mind this is giving an arithmetic overflow and it does give you the wrong and everything but it's doing it every second you can see that so how do we fix that easily we come over here and generally you'll see like programming put in place something like a compare or something you know in front of this to say it's not equal to zero like something if i were to highlight that and we were to say not equal to you would say something like this is not equal to zero and then that way you can kind of protect it but generally speaking i just wanted to kind of show you that uh, and show you how that does work now I'm just using a bit in front of it so that I can stop the, the fault from happening. And now we're going to go ahead and talk about the way a divide works. So let's go ahead and throw a couple of real numbers in here and we're going to go, let's just say 222. So 200 at point 22. So we are using the decimal. Now let's divide this by a whole number. Okay. With no decimal. And let's actually go ahead and test it right now. Now this is going to give me the, the destination of that. So we're basically dividing uh, source A by source B, right? And this is going to be uh, getting the value of that. So the, the end result from dividing those two will be 20.022. Now this does give you the whole number and the decimal or, and the, the remainder of the actual divide. So how do we actually handle that, right? So how do we come in here and, and say that what if we wanted to add, actually come over here and, and get the the mod of that, right? What do we, we want to get the remainder? All right, so let's come over here and add a wrong. And let's come over here. And real quick, I want to show you if you don't have uh, anything, like if you don't have any, if all this is grayed out up here and you don't have the ability, it's like, say for instance, we deleted that and we deleted that. We don't have the ability up here to actually uh, utilize any of these instructions uh, it's just because all you need to do is click on the rung that you want to add it to and then come over here and add it it's just that simple so I just wanted to highlight that because that that does uh, kind of confuse I mean uh, the issue a little bit when it comes to programming so just keep that in mind all right so um, I do have a couple bits that I made so we're gonna come over here and add these in here and this is going to be testing the mod with the dent and this is just basically toggle bits that I have up here just like this right and then we're going to come over here and add the reel so we're going to do two test things we're going to first we're going to make our actual tags because I haven't made these tags yet we're going to call these value so we'll do values and this would be a dent okay and then what we'll do is we'll change our data type to a dimension of like say six. We want to have a, you know, just a dimension of six. So in a, a small array, if you would. Uh, so in this instance, we're going to point to the zero, just like we did up here. 
and then we're going to come over here and we can what we can do is we can drag this down here just like that and come down to the second one drag this down here just like that come down here to the third one now <clears throat> real quick um, so before we have uh, anything out let's go ahead and do the reels so we'll do the value and we already have the value of reels so let's go ahead and utilize the rest of these uh, that we have okay so currently I'm using up to three so we'll use four and then we'll use five and six okay so this would be six <clears throat> now real quick I wanted to discuss what does the mod do right so in, in case you didn't know right if you were coming in here you were wondering you seen it in a program or you were trying to troubleshoot it and you were figuring out you know what's really the purpose behind it it's to get the remainder of the value of the what you're trying to um, divide right is to get the remainder of that so in other words what you're trying to do is basically get the remainder right so you don't it's not necessarily the whole number so in this case let's come over here and let's say uh, 10 and divided by 3 now we all know that that's gonna not eat that's not gonna be a whole number right so it's it's obviously gonna have a, uh, a leftover remainder so in this case it the remainder is 1 right so 10 3 1 right so if we did 21 and then we did so if we did 21 and 3 we'll have a remainder of 0 right so just to kind of show you how that that mechanism works on a dent level uh, meaning your data type is a dent um, versus a real now let's come over here and do the same exact equation we did over here down on the mod right so I'll come over here and do the same exact equa equation we did the 200 right so we'll do 200 dot 22 so let's add another zero in there and we'll divide that by 10 so a whole number with no um, you know basically no, nothing after the decimal and let's basically see what we get right here now we know for a fact that uh, just from the, the, the using the divide up here that basically dividing two or yeah dividing 200 by 10 is going to give 20 right so in this case we should just get the remainder of that down here and we should not get 20 so all we're going to do and you see, you can actually see that did come true to form so what happened is again so it only it, it's the remainder of what is not a whole number so if you look at 10 divided by 200 dot uh, point two, uh, two, two, so the, the decimal two as well the remainder of that division is going to leave the factor of 0.22001222 and that's giving you the information now uh, you may might be asking yourself why would you use that now there the mod is used a lot of times in say servo controls um, some kind of mathematical equation for speed controls um, just different things that then I'm giving you a couple just examples not really set in stone on what you would use it for but I have seen these used in the industry for servo controls and stuff of that nature and uh, again especially mathematics for uh, let's just say process controls and uh, like speed controls for drives and stuff of that nature so just keep in mind um, we can leave these bits actually active uh, and hopefully uh, you know you kind of get the difference between the divide and then the using the mod and then what you could do now the divide does give you the, the actual whole number and the decimal but if you just wanted the decimal could you you would just use the mod right and and then the difference between using the mod with a dent and using the mod with a reel so a reel does give you the decimal point uh, with the uh, dent of course does not give you the decimal point it's really based on whole numbers so just keep that in mind your data types are important they do work with this instruction but again I wanted to show exactly how a mod instruction worked so um, with all that said hopefully you learned a lot on that video we'll see you guys on the next one